Hey guys, I am coming in for an Instant Pot accessories video. I ordered a few random new accessories for my Instant Pot that I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm gonna kind of do an unboxing. I've opened the box, but um, I haven't gone through everything yet. So an unboxing of a few accessories here, and then I thought it would be fun to show you my Instant Pot cabinet, which is right down below here, and show you where I keep my Instant Pots, my two Instant Pots, and uh, my other, all the other accessories that I have for the Instant Pot down in my cabinet. And of course, as always, I will put links to everything that I can down in the description box below. I also have an Amazon store, Amazon page, where I list all of my recommended items and so lots of those items in there are instant pot accessories so everything that i can from this video i will put in that page as well so you should be able to find everything you need so all right so here we go just a few things first off i picked up the sous vide egg bite molds everyone on the instant pot facebook page has been talking about making uh, the egg bites the starbucks copycat egg bites in the instant pot and so i had to pick up some of these so look for a video on those coming soon i have not tried them yet so if you have done a recipe for those and you enjoyed it and want to share the recipe please share that down below and i will be doing a video on the egg bites soon so this is what the molds look like just like that with the lid and they fit right down into your Instant Pot. So that will be fun to experiment with. Then since I got an eight quart Instant Pot, I picked up a seven inch pan. The other cheesecake pan ha uh, was only six inch that I've used in my other cheesecake videos. So I figured I'd just pick up a seven inch pan to have it on hand for uh, using in my eight quart instant pot and I just ordered the exact same kind of pan that I had before because it worked great the fat daddy-o's pan just in the one size bigger it has the removable bottom that makes making cheesecakes so easy and the, the edges come out so nicely so grab that just to have on hand then a set of two instant pot trivets of course, I have the trivets that come with the Instant Pot, but I wanted one with a taller with taller legs because then you can like cook rice on the bottom and have a pot in pot of your you know meat or veggie or whatever it is you're making for dinner um, on the top and do both at the same time, which is really handy. And this is um, the set that I found. Let me get some scissors and cut these apart real quick. So these are the two trivets. This one, the smaller one, is a little bit bigger than the one that comes with the Instant Pot. So I'll have the, the one that comes with the Instant Pot that's about this tall, and then one that's a little taller, and then the extra tall one to do rice and things under. And these are, um, the circles work for cooking boiled eggs. I don't normally worry about the eggs touching each other, so I probably won't use it for that. But you can um, do the one on top of the other and have eggs in both um, on both racks and it looks really cool so that is an option so I got those I'm excited about that because I want to be working on some one pot recipes and I have like the stacking pots that I'll show you in a minute that are down in my cabinet and those are great for certain recipes but then there's some like especially with rice on the bottom it just works really easily to have rice on the bottom and then something in the pot on the top or like a meat dish on the bottom and rice on the top it just is sometimes it's nice to use um, a trivet and have the food directly in the pot underneath so lots of options when you get tall trivets like this now the last thing I got is something that looks really fun and it's actually for the kids mostly for Renee to use in her kitchen I saw this and I had to grab it and I did get a um, factory returned one so the box is a little messed up and it might be a little bit broken but um, it will it will work just fine but it is a little toy pressure cooker it's so cute and I saw someone on the instant pot Facebook page got one of these and they printed out the keypad from the instant pot and put it right on the front here and it was super super cute so I grabbed this I think it was only like three or four dollars because it was one of the returned ones you can get them new for just less than ten dollars I think so that was really fun so here is what it looks like out of the box it is so stinking cute and it has this little button it has like the steam release over here 
and then it has this little button that you press up at the top that makes these um, kind of come out to get the lid off and it just clips right on there and it's so stinking cute and I know Renee will love it in her little toy kitchen that she got for Christmas. So that is everything I picked up from Amazon. I'm excited to work on some one pot recipes using the trivets and trying out the Starbucks egg bites, possibly some more cheesecakes. And there are other things you can do with cheesecake pans in the Instant Pot like casseroles and lasagnas and things like that. So I will definitely be working on some recipes there. And now let me move down below to the cabinet and show you all of my other accessories and how I store my Instant Pots. So there is a big shot of the cabinet. Down below I have my two Instant Pots. Usually my six quart is in the back and my eight quart is in the front because I use my eight quart the most often. And then I have my accessories up here on the top shelf. So let me zoom in and show you my accessories one by one. So these bins here I got at Ikea. They were not very expensive and they have lids. I have one with the lid back here and they are super handy. I love them. Um, in this container back here, I have things that are not Instant Pot related, but things that I use very often, like my veggie chopper and my immersion blender and a few things like that. And then of course I have my stackable pans that I've shown on several videos. I have the Max Rock pans and then I also have the Ecovana pans and they are very similar, but there are some differences and I will be doing a video comparing both of them. If you're in the market for a set of pans, I'll just go through the differences and um, let you know so you can make a good decision on which one would be best for you. They're both fantastic, but I will go over the differences because there are a few little differences. And now for my other accessories. These are things I'm sure you've seen me use on videos before if you've watched my other videos, I have my, of course, my trivet that came with the Instant Pot. I have the eight quart one, and then I also have the six quart one, and they're very similar, same size and everything. The eight quart just has a little bit of an elbow so that it fits into the eight quart a little better. And then I have one of the glass uh, lids for the six quart. I have not picked up one for the eight quart. I, I'm not sure if I will because I don't find that I use this very often. Since I don't use the slow cooker mode on the Instant Pot a lot, um, I just haven't found that I've used it a lot, so I'm gonna wait. I may pick up the one for the eight quart in the future, um, but I'm just gonna wait and see. Then of course I have my six inch removable bottom cheesecake pan that you have seen me use to make three cheesecakes so far. Then I have just the utensils that came with the Instant Pots. This is the old kind of rice spatula that came with um, the version one of the Six Quart Duo. This is the new rice spatula with the newer versions and the ladle. Then I have an extra rice cup. I do use my rice cups, a lot of people don't use them. But since I have one of the Instant Pots or two of the Instant Pots that have the lines on the inside that are rice cooker lines, the, the cup comes in handy. I keep one of them in my bucket of rice and so I, can, I use it to measure out the rice, throw it right back in the bucket. It's always there when I need it. And then I fill up my water to the corresponding line on the Instant Pot and I always get perfect rice. So this is just an extra cup since I have two Instant Pots. Then this is just a very basic veggie steamer that you can use in a pot on the stove and it fits great into the Instant Pot as well. It just opens up like a flower to sit right in and uh, fill in whatever space you give it, which is really nice. And you can steam veggies or anything. We've done dumplings, um, all different things. So these come in handy and they're pretty cheap. And a lot of people already have these in their kitchen. So it's always nice when you find an accessory for your Instant Pot that you already own in your kitchen. Now this isn't specifically an Instant Pot accessory, but I use it all the time when I'm using my Instant Pot because it's great for getting soups or broth or anything liquidy into mason jars. It's just a canning accessory and um, I use it all the time. Now these are from Ikea and they are really fun, although I found that I have not used them as much as I thought I would. They're um, containers that can fit right inside your Instant Pot. You can actually fit three of them inside your Instant Pot and they fit perfectly in a six quart and of course in an eight quart. 
And um, they're like steamer or boiling inserts, I think is what they're called. They do have like a lip on the bottom here, so you don't have to put a trivet underneath. They can just sit right in your Instant Pot. And they were only like $4.99 a piece if you buy them at Ikea. If you try to find them online, um, like on Amazon, they can be really expensive, but they're really cheap at Ikea. The only thing is they have these little hooks that um, are, they, the hook originally was on the outside because it's supposed to hook onto the outside of a pot. But of course, if you do that in your Instant Pot, it won't seal. So you have to either remove it or bend it in. And I just bent mine in. Um, but like I said, I haven't used these as much as I expected I would. I feel like I need to work on developing re recipes specifically for these inserts. Um, and I just haven't taken the time to do that. I think if I did that, I would use them a lot. But um, that's something I just need to work on. But they are really cool and I, I wish I had some better ideas and more ideas for how to use these. So I just have two of them, but like I said, um, three will fit in your Instant Pot. All right, last thing in here is my set of three. Um, there's stainless steel food storage containers, but they work great in your Instant Pot. And I have done videos using these. There's three, three different sizes. They have a little silicone ring inside the lids to help them stay um, airtight. And they are great for cooking all kinds of things using the pot in pot method and having the lids available to um, put on if, it's, if you're cooking something that you don't wanna get steam in, then these are a great option. I know these have been out of stock on Amazon for a very long time and there are a few different uh, manufacturers and so I will link to a manufacturer that is in stock but I believe the ones the sa exact same ones that I have are not in stock right now I'll try to link to both and um, whenever you watch this you can look and see what happens to be in stock but they are really fun and um, just one note in my six quart you can fit the small and the medium stacked on top of each other or the large and the small stacked on top of each other. You can't fit the large and the medium stacked on top of each other, and you can't fit all three at the same time. I have not tried them in my eight quart, but I expect you could fit any two of them together in the eight quart. One other thing I really love about these is you can prep your food in advance and have them in your containers and keep them in the fridge, and then when you're ready to cook, you can just take it right out of the fridge and pop it into the Instant Pot, and um, that can be nice for quick, getting a dinner on the table really quick if you're having a busy day. So that's one thing that I like. I also like that you can just pop the lid on and stick it right into the fridge um, in the container that you cooked it in instead of having to transfer it to another container and just having more dirty dishes um, comes in super handy with the lids and being able to store your food right in the container. And I will mention that um, the Amazon reviews say that sometimes these clasps break, but I have not had that problem at all. I've had these for a while and used them quite a bit and I've had no problem with the clasps breaking. I don't know if they're manufacturing them just a little differently or a little better now or what, but um, that's something that I have not had an issue with. So I just wanted to let you know that. So there you go. Those are a lot of the accessories I use regularly with my Instant Pot and have found extremely helpful and add more variety to what I'm able to cook with my Instant Pot. And like I said, I will be having more videos coming soon of the egg bites and working on more recipes with the stackable pans and um, pot in pot cooking, uh, one pot recipes and all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching and I will be back again soon. Hi Renee, how are you? Um, uh, good. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Um, I got a present for you. What is it? Uh, what is it? Can I open it? Yeah, do you know what it is? It's um, a penguin. A penguin? No. No? That's not it. What's it look like? I don't know. Yeah, it's not the right colors, but doesn't it look a little bit like an Instant Pot? Yeah. Yeah? You want to try it? You have this that releases the pressure, right? Yeah. Yeah? And you can open the lid with the button. You have to press the button and open the lid. 
It's empty. It's empty. You gotta cook some food in it in your kitchen. Yeah. And then you can put the lid on just like that. Yeah. And it's just like a little instant pot. Yeah. You wanna go try it in your kitchen? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, go take it into your kitchen. You put some food in it. Yeah. You can't open it. Oh, you need some help? Yeah. Yeah, you kinda have to press the button and take it off just like that. You gotta be careful with pressure cookers, you know. What are you gonna cook in your Instant Pot? Uh, oh, that's a great idea. I love Instant Pot waffles. Yeah, here, set it down. And then we'll put it right here. We don't want to... We don't want to put the Instant Pot on our stove because Instant Pots don't go on stoves, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, what do you think of it? Uh, good. Good, okay. My waffles are good. 